at this point, uh, Meg, uh, you know, 1991, Middle Township has not had child abductions. I don't think we've had any since then. Uh, Mark's case was uh, something unheard of, and we were not treating it. There was no Amber Alert. There was, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, Megan's Law wasn't in effect. That was a few years later. So we were not prepared for a child abduction case, and we weren't looking for that. We were looking for a lost or runaway 11-year-old boy that may have drowned or got caught in a water hazard, and that's what we were searching for. He was on a few uh, medications to calm his anxiety down, and they, they searchers felt that they may be life-threatening uh, medications if he doesn't take them right away. So there was urgency to get out and find Mark. And that's really all they were thinking about. Nobody was thinking about abduction. They pick up the sneaker, bring it back to Mark's house. No photographs were taken. It's not handled with latex gloves, not handled as evidence. Um, was it ever, look at it. Was the sneaker ever tested for DNA? It was uh, multiple times. Uh, it, it was still sent to the lab eventually. But, you know, during the week of the searches, I can remember... Uh, Walt Oliver being interviewed by a TV crew and he picks the sneaker up and pours sand out of it, you know, with his, with his mm-hmm. bare hands. So a lot of, you know, cross contamination. Uh, if there was any DNA from a bad guy on there, uh, our chances were very slim at this point of trying to find anything, but nonetheless, that sneaker repeatedly has been sent to the FBI labs to try and get something off of it. 